Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. As you can tell, this is going to be an unbagging, unboxing, whatever type of video. Um, I do lots of other things on my YouTube channel if you'd like to check that out. I do tarot readings and working on some energy healing stuff, some other goodies coming on, but you're here for this. I've been waiting for so long. I ordered this package back in like March. Um, but there were a few pre-orders with this order. So yeah, there's a everyday petticoat, this dress, there's a couple headpieces, a vest, some shorts and i think one pair of socks but yeah so this is from devil inspired i've done unbaggings from them before if you'd like to check that out i have a playlist of unboxings and unbaggings if you like synchronistic numbers i noticed 111 by the way but let's just dive right in shall we so i didn't want to use my dagger today because it looks packed to the brim and I want to be careful. So I am a little worried that I might have oversized a couple items, but I guess we will find out. Yes. Cool. If you know me, then you already know. It's like all black. Ah, I'm so excited. So the dress that I ordered, I've wanted this dress before, but it sold out. And I decided to get it as soon as I could because I figured it was gonna sell out. And this vest that I saw, as soon as I first laid my eyes on it, I fell in love with it, that I knew I would probably regret not getting it. Especially because it's so hard for me to find vests that I really love and um, I'm able to incorporate it into Lolita fashion or OG or something else but I've always wanted to do more OG so I'm trying to get into that too. Let's just get this first item out and I can tell this is a headdress. Now the thing about this headdress, I wanted this headdress for like years and at some point when i was making this order something told me because i was debating should i get this piece now or should i wait longer and something told me get it now and i'm glad i did because i have not seen it since um so i think this is an item that they don't sell on their website anymore and i haven't seen it on other websites either but I thought that it was so cute. And let's hope that it's good. Let's see what we are working with. It has some clips. It has a couple of ribbons of different sorts. Um, it has this kind of lace, which is pretty soft. It's, it looks like a, some kind of like cotton lace. And of course it has some on the other side and this is how it looks it has some wings on it it has little crosses with um, roses crosses with roses um, on both sides little bows now let me go ahead and take this one off So I literally just came from work and then was gonna do a reading and that was rescheduled. Ended up falling asleep at my friend's house for a little bit. But anyway, here we are. I can see that the clasps are just glued, straight up glued. 
that is not pretty, but at least it's underneath. Let's go ahead and try to put this on. It's cute. And I will do a try on for all of the garment pieces at the end of the video as well. If you'd like to see that, then keep watching. I usually tie it behind me, but just for the sake of time. It's cute. I think it's cute. I thought it was going to be cuter, I'm not going to lie. But I'm not mad about it. I'm happy I got it. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I thought I would remove the crosses but I actually do like them so I'm gonna keep them on there yeah cute so let's see what is next what's this the petticoat cool this oh this headpiece too that is really cute. I got that for something specific. Oh, this is the OG set. These are the socks. And this is the dress. And this is another part of the OG set. And empty bag. So, next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the socks so the little zipper part was already broken but that's all right let's see okay cool cool so far so far so good Okay. So, I've been needing more socks and I took a chance with these. Oh, they're terrible, actually. <sighs> Look at this. That's terrible. Like, they didn't even close the seam. They just left it cut open um, I am in dire need to start getting more socks and stuff so I wanted to try these I am NOT so happy about these um, the sock itself is good quality it's like stretchy let's see and it's very opaque which I don't shave my legs, so I like that, um, that they're opaque. These, I believe, are under the knee socks. And I guess I'll just go ahead and try everything else, like, at the end. So I know some of you don't want to see all that. Maybe. <laughs> so I'll try those at the end. Now I'll go ahead and show you this other headpiece. I got this specifically for Sheep Garden um, by Angelic Pretty. Okay. Oh, yay! That's cool. It comes with this little thing. I could use this. Um, so that's cool. This is a beret. It comes with a couple of clips, but they're not even like attached. They just come like that. It has a drawstring on the bottom. Now this is so cute. Uh, 
I, I think it's really cute and they had a couple other versions like with some bows but they had like brown and red or something so I was like I could just add some cute bows to it myself so I am so excited for that maybe on the try on I'll try it with sheep garden if you'd like to see that and maybe put a couple bows on it but hopefully it's big enough for an adult head um, but I guess we'll find out the clip already fell so these don't seem like the best clips but it was inexpensive and I think it's super cute and I would definitely wear it with a bunch of different outfits so I'm excited for that the next thing we'll go ahead and open up is the petticoat I have a poof monster from the same brand, Aura, Aurora and Oriel, or Ariel, but that one doesn't fit well with a couple of my dresses, and this dress is technically not Lolita, it's just like a, I'll just go ahead and show you, it's just a, uh, it's called like Target dress, but I could wear it in Lolita ways. But, yeah, not with a big poof monster. And so, here it is. It looks so interesting. Looks pretty much exactly the same, with this the same brand. I'll go ahead and show you. Hopefully you don't keep hearing all the rustling sounds of everything. <laughs> Maybe it'd be better for me to leave it there. I'll go ahead and show you. So, this is the everyday poof petticoat from Aurora and Oriel, or Ariel. And this is the poof monster one, the super poof. Super poof and everyday proof. I mean, they might look the same, but the volume is very different. You can tell just by me holding them in one hand. I absolutely love these petticoats. I would highly recommend them for anybody, um, especially if you're starting out or even if you're a seasoned Lolita, um, to try it out. I hope that it's going to be comfortable around here, but if not, I could just remove the elastic and maybe put like a little ribbon or something. So that's cool. I'm curious if it will fit fine with this dress. I got crystals all over the place, so... Yeah, it does, yay! A simple little poof. Cool. So that's how it fits. I still have some space. So that's nice. Now I could wear it in more casual Lolita ways, I suppose. <laughs> So, what should I show you next? The dress or the OG set? Let's go with the OG set. Let's see. Is this... This might be the best. Oh, no, this might be the best. Let's go with this one. I think these are the shorts. They are. This is from the brand Princess Chronicles. And I got them in their biggest size, which is 2XL. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I think they're cute. And they have these bows here. Now, I would say I knew, even just from the pictures, that I don't like these buttons. 
I'm not crazy about these buttons. They remind me of pie. And there's nothing wrong with pie. But I don't want to wear pie. <laughs> so I do have some buttons that I'm hoping are going to fit that I could just swap them out for. And yeah, these are going to be my first actual like OG shorts. So I'm excited for that. And they're really good quality. They even have pockets. Pockets are a good size. I was about to say, let me put my phone in there. I'm filming with my phone. Uh, this is smaller than a phone, but let's just see. I'm sure a phone would fit pretty good in here. Let's just put some other random crystal in there. Something else, a bigger size, just a slab geode. It fits in there fine. Let me try one other stone, or mineral, I should say. Let me try this abalone. It fits perfect. You can't even see it. Not at all. So, I'm pretty sure that it would fit a phone just fine. So that's nice. All right, now let's move on to the vest. This is one of the items I'm the most excited about, but that I'm worried I might have bought a size too big. So hopefully that's not the case. the same size it has this cute hood with like these little bunny ears or whatever oh my God. it has like little wings in a way it's cute and this is the back it feels really amazing quality super amazing quality honestly it has this little back lapel part I guess oh the hood is detachable and it has the ears it's super cute and then again it has those cake I mean pie buttons it has slight um, tails, what are they called again? Swallow tails, or I can't think of the word. Cool. I think it's gonna be a little too big, but uh, damn. Anyway, and that's sold out now, so it's not like I could order a different size, but really good quality. If they bring them back, I would highly recommend. Now for the dress. Okay, so it came with a waist belt um, in a thick size and in like a thinner size, like two inch or three inch. I ordered the thinner size because I thought it would look cuter with more items than the thicker one actually. So. Hopefully, I don't regret getting the smaller one. I thought that it looked nicer or more, uh, again, more versatile. So, it smells terrible. It smells terrible, but um, it feels nice. It's a really soft material. It's kind of like a tuxedo vest I don't know like lining thick lining I don't know I don't know how to describe it it's silky it's not like a, a thin it's not like a thin satin 
but I don't know, maybe like a thicker satin. It's a little shiny, but it's really pretty. And these little buttons give it like a tuxedo look, I think. Now, this is a sack dress. I love sack dresses. Um, I had a feeling the material is going to be shiny, and it's super shiny, but it doesn't look terrible. Let's see. It's cute. I think it's really cute. And it does have... Wait. Oh. Let's see. Does it have the... Okay, so it has an extra button. And the ties for the arm wrist parts. So it sucks that whenever you buy from like Taobao resellers, their items are like never constructed completely. This is from the brand Little Dipper. And I ordered it, I think also in their biggest size. I have ordered items from them before. They come with this cute little tag. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy about it. It's really good quality. It is a shiny fabric, but I'm not mad about it. No, I could feel it already. It's a little itchy, but hopefully it doesn't feel itchy worn. Um, it's really pretty. I've always wanted like a, these kind of like old school, I don't know, like Victorian maiden kind of garments, pieces, dresses, but they're OPs would probably never fit me and this is really cute it was inexpensive and I think it's cute which I keep saying that but yeah so that's everything that I got if you are done watching this part of the video then we'll thank you for joining but I'm gonna go ahead and try on everything and Let's see how everything fits. Hopefully, well. And not too big. But we'll see. <laughs> I still have an issue where I keep, um, like, oversizing things. Which, for, like, t-shirts, I love oversized t-shirts. But when it comes to dresses and oversized, it just doesn't look flattering. So, hopefully they're not too big. Um, but yeah, so... I'll go ahead and try those on and give me a moment. I'll be right back. All right, so I have good news and bad news. The shorts fit perfectly. I love how they fit. Now the vest, unfortunately I did order it way too fucking big. Um, I think I just still have this mentality, this notion that, like, um, I used to be at a bigger weight, and I guess I still have issues just getting things my size instead of just, like, sizing up. Um, so, my fault. I'm upset about it, but that's my fault. So, I mean, it's cute. It does have, it feels like it has slight, like, not shoulder padding straight up, but it's really heavy. Um, this is how big it is. Like, two inches on both sides. <laughs> but it's cute, right? Like, way too big. Which sucks ass. Um, but at least I can... Since the sleeves are not attached like this onto the garment, it'll be an easier fix. I could literally just sew up the seam like so. It just sucks that I'm going to have to do that. But at least the shoulders are like super comfortable. But I could feel it like off of my shoulder. It's too wide. Um, so this unfortunately is going to need some tailoring this bow is detachable oh no not this one 
Never mind. I think it's just this other bow. I thought it was detachable. I guess not. Oh well. It's cute. Way too big on me. My fault. I should have sized down on that, but too late. And the hood. I love the hood. It's super big and heavy though. There's no way it's gonna stay on my head. It just slides right off. But the only way it stays is if I have it all the way like this. But I can just toss it back like that. I think it's cute. Again, it's just gonna become a sewing project though which is not cool. It's gonna make this seem even smaller. <sighs> Damn it. Curses. <laughs> that sucks. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. I'm in like a sports bra or whatever, so. But you see the pants fit comfortably sized. Um, Apparently I put this wrong. So it has like a button and a zipper and then this part comes off on both sides and you can just put it like that. So it looks cute. I might have gotten this a little too big too but they're easier to fix. Now I'll show you the socks. They're cute. But they're really cheap looking too. So there's that. I love uh, the shorts though. I don't know if they're gonna be flattering. Probably not. But fuck it. So that's the vest. The shorts, they do have enough like base for me though so that's cool I'm so sad and disappointed with myself this is a faux pocket this vest is so cute and this set is such good quality and it wasn't expensive either but fuck it it is what it is oh well so the next item I'm going to try is going to be the dress and yeah, I guess I'll try the dress back on with this headpiece and then I'll try the little, where do you go, <laughs> this headpiece with sheep garden just to show you guys because I think that'd be really cute. So I'll be right back once again, see you in a bit. Alrighty, so this is the OP without the little things, um, the little ties. I'm still wearing my bracelets, but um, without a petticoat, just to show you guys for reference. I got the biggest size, and like the armholes are like tight. Like it's not too tight, like it's comfortable, but like. It is like right there though. Um, I do feel like if I go like this, I can feel it tight here. So it's a good thing I got the biggest size then because if these sleeves were any tighter, I would not be comfortable. Um, so it's doable. <laughs> I feel like I'm wearing a like what are they called? A gown? Like the whole cap and gowns for graduation? It's not gonna be flattering like this. But it's still cute. So I'll go ahead and try it with my poof monster to see if it will fit. And if not, then I'll try it with the everyday petticoat. It seems like it should fit though. So. 
be right back again. Alright, so this is the dress with the poof monster. It's cute! And I'm still wearing those socks, but... Swoosh! Swoosh! <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and try it on with this thin waist belt. Let's see how it fits or how it makes it look. <sighs> do, 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 do. That's probably not a pretty bow, but fuck it. Here's a tip. Whenever you put something on like that, always adjust your dress or your garment to sit more flattering. There you go. So here it is. Hmm. I think it's cute. I love it. I can't wait to wear it in the fall. Or winter I love it with this headpiece too I think they look so good together what do you think swish, swish. <laughs> all right so now I'm going to go ahead and try on that this one with my sheep garden JSK so I'll be right back in just another moment see you in a bit <laughs> okay so here it is I just clipped a bow um, I think it'd be cute with like small bows on each ear um, but right now I just put this bow here to add some white to the top of my head it fits perfectly thankfully it has that little drawstring because it is a little big um, but it's cute so and I'm not wearing a blouse pocket here it is sheep garden I think that it looks cute together what do you think? And the back of it looks like this. <laughs> yeah, so that's everything. Um, I'd love to know what was your favorite item and what was your least favorite item. Um, I will try to have links in the description just in case like if they're still available. I'll try and get that for you guys. What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, the dress. So thankfully, the dress is lined in like a... Maybe it's a cotton poly blend, but it is comfortable. The only thing is that I can feel like there is the potential of this little, little edge getting a little scratchy but everything else every other part of the dress thankfully isn't scratchy when it's worn so I just think like if someone is trying to like hug me or something then they'll probably get a little scratchy but that's their problem not mine <laughs> so I think it's really cute I thought about getting like a little headband with ears I thought this would be cuter uh, since, I don't know, it makes it look like I have wool on my head. I don't know. I thought it'd be cute. What do you think? Maybe this bow is just not doing it. It'd probably be better, like, actually on there, but it's too flat. Like, too straight. If it sat more like that, it'd probably be better. I don't know. If it's smaller, again, I'd probably put it here. 
no nah, that's just no nah, that's too big but yeah i'd love to know what you think i love everything well i mean the socks are a little questionable they were like nine dollars and the edges are just not great but uh it is what it is i'm sure i definitely could have gotten them off of like aliexpress the same shit for like way cheaper but i was hoping that they'd be better quality honestly um so i would say my biggest disappointment were the socks and the vest but the vest is not because of the quality or not because of the item itself it's just because of my disillusion that I needed the biggest size um, so fixing that is gonna be a little bit annoying I think what I'm gonna do is like a dart instead of just taking it all in at the seam that way the bottom can still be a little flared and still have this opening on the side instead of just like closing it up um, so definitely I think a dart you can even see that a dart would be my best bet like that instead of just straight through um, but yeah again it's really good quality I thought the bow was detachable but I'm just kind of repeating myself, so sorry. <laughs> it does feel like a suit um, quality, so it's really, really good quality. I'm really, really happy with this. Maybe it could have been found cheaper, and yes, I could have bought it from Taobao, but the reason why I keep buying from Devil Inspired is because I usually buy when they have like free shipping over a certain price. And also when they have like uh, this percentage off of the entire store so I have done calculations with other websites like 42 Lolita I think it's called or uh, glitzy wonderland or something like they all have different merchandise so you have to compare but if you wait until there are certain promotions and free shipping it might be cheaper than other stores so that's why I keep shopping with them. I need to just get on it and like just go for trying for um, just buying from Taobao, like buying from somebody, a shopping service. But I know that Lovely Lore has done like a comparison or it could have been Fluffy Tori. I think they both have their own comparison videos about like which is the best method. Um, but it's been a long time since I've seen that. Maybe it's time that I need to watch that again. I'm all shiny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what was your favorite? What was your least favorite? And would you consider getting any of these items? And if so, maybe we can do a little, uh, what's it called? Twinning. That'd be cute. That'd be fun. But yeah, so thank you so much for being here. If you're interested in tarot readings or anything like that, I do that plenty of that on my channel and I have some private readings available um, stay tuned if you're into into energy healing um, and stuff like that too I have some good things uh, along the way so I probably won't do another haul video for a long time and these items did take months for me to get because again they were pre-orders the dress and the OG set um, but yeah so it'll probably be a long time and I think at this point I want to just I want to keep investing in like baby the starshine bright pieces um, because I absolutely love their stuff especially their classical series but anyway I digress if you have any recent unboxing videos or stuff like feel free to leave it in the comments so that everybody can see it and support each other and everything i would love to see wardrobe post more wardrobe post and i do plan on doing that eventually so we'll see if i get to it this year or just wait until next year and it might be a late one slash early we'll see but yeah, thank you so much. I love you guys, and I hope to see you in the next video 
whenever that is. All right?